as you'll hear today, the Fern Hollow Bridge collapse should never have happened. Two years after its collapse, the National Transportation Safety Board releases its investigative findings into the failure of the Fern Hollow Bridge. Thanks for joining us at noon. I'm Erica Moke. The NTSB's final determination for the collapse points to both ineffective inspections and insufficient oversight. KDK lead investigator Andy Sheehan listened in on today's hearing. He joins us live to break down those findings. Andy. Well, in releasing the report, the NTSB says the collapse of the Fern Hollow Bridge should never have happened, that the corrosion of the bridge was so severe, the city should have shut it down years ago. Now, investigators from the NTSB detailed that decades of neglect had corroded and deteriorated the main supports of the bridge, that on the morning of the collapse, the main supports on the west end of the bridge failed and buckled, causing the main deck to give way nearly killing four people who were driving across it at the time. The board found that although this corrosion was cited in inspection reports going back to 2005, inspectors did not deem them critical, and the city failed to take action. In one case, the cross beam supporting the main stanchions of the bridge had almost completely deteriorated. In 2009, they were reinforced by some cables that were supposed to be temporary but were never replaced. NTSB Chair Jennifer Homendy says the bridge is an example of deteriorating bridges across the country that need action. One such bridge was the Fern Hollow Bridge, which collapsed from extensive corrosion and section loss damage due to repeated failures to act on known maintenance and repair recommendations that were documented in inspection reports from 2005 to 2021. In fact, had contractors for the city of Pittsburgh correctly calculated and accounted for the effects of section loss and other factors back in 2014, the Fern Hollow Bridge would have, should have, been closed. Now, this hearing is still going on, and our later reports will dig deeper into the cause of the disaster at Fern Hollow Bridge and what needs to be done to prevent such disasters in the future. Reporting live downtown, Andy Sheehan, KDKA-TV News.